everyone, it is Jazz here. Today we are going to discuss my 2024 reading goals and the many challenges that I'm doing in 2024. Um, some of them are not strictly going to be 2024. They probably will roll over to 2025, but some of them are for this year. So let's jump in to discussing all the reading goals and fun stuff. My reading goals are pretty simple. I just have three little reading goals, plus obviously what I have for the number of books that I wanna read in the year, which I guess counts as a fourth one, but whatevs. So the first goal is something that I just want to maintain, that being that I want to read one physical book from my to be read, one audiobook, one ebook and one library book. I like to read at least four books at a time. I'm inspired by novelty. So I like to switch books, but also I kind of base lately my reading on the time and place that I am. Uh, for example, if I know that I want to read before bed in the dark, I want to have my e-reader and read my ebook, et cetera, et cetera. So, that plan of having kind of different books and different kinds of books that way too I get to books that I own also I get to check out some new things that I want to try at the library. The next goal I have is to read two classic books. Now I'm going to include at least one reread in this mostly because I'm rereading Wuthering Heights and I think it would be great to include that in this challenge but I also do want to read a new to me classic book mostly because I do have several on my to be read and so thus I think that I should get to them. Third goal that I have is to read two books that I actually own. I feel like that is pretty simple. I feel like I should be able to do that goal because I only said two books. Uh, though, as you know, if you're a reader, it's very hard to get to your own tea book to, to be read sometimes. I, I don't know why, but it just is. I just need to say TBR, don't I? Because I can't say to be read. In terms of numbers of books, <laughs> this is a funny, funny goal. I'm approaching the number of books situation uh, in a really specific way, mostly because I feel like the less books that I put on my goal for like Goodreads and Storygraph, the more books I actually end up reading during the year. So last year, I decided to set my goal at 25, uh, it, just a test. And this year, I'm going to set my reading goal to 20 because I will say that I was more inspired to read when I had less books on there. No like shade to people that like to put a lot of books on their reading goal numbers. It's just weirdly what works for me is to put less books on there and then I don't feel, I guess, pressured to like rush through books. I don't know. Now, from now on, I think what I'm gonna try to do is decrease the number of books that I put on the goal list by five until I'm one of those people that can just put on their Goodreads and Storygraph one book. Would like to be confident enough that I can like say I only want to like read one book and I'll be happy this year. I, I'm, I'm trying to be a minimalist because I think it's the quality of the reading, not the quantity. Moving on to challenges. So I am gonna start with some of the challenges that were actually featured in my new reading journal. The reading planner that I decided to go with was from an Etsy shop called Love, Live Love Planners, that's what it's called if you want to get a hold of that yourself, not sponsored or anything, just just a little tip. But there were plenty of challenges that were featured just in that little planner. And the ones that I chose to do were the read through the alphabet, A to Z reading challenge. It does have where you can actually put the pictures of the books, but I think I'm just gonna color them in because I think that's more fun. The other challenge is the book bingo challenge. I'm not gonna worry about completing this in 2024, but it's pretty straightforward. You bubble in a bubble 
when you meet uh, one of the many challenges. It's time to get out my handy dandy phone because the rest of the challenges that I joined were ones that are on Storygraph. Actually one that I joined last year kind of late in the year because you could do it at any time and complete it at any time is Intro to Audiobooks. This book challenge is basically different challenges related to audiobooks. The next one is the Fleetwood Mac Rumors Reading Challenge. This reading challenge centers around the Fleetwood Mac album Rumors and basically there's a prompt for each of the songs on that album. Really love that album so I'm very excited to give this a go but also it does feature some challenges that I think are gonna like give me some new things to read or do already kind of fit in my wheelhouse of things that I read. The Fruits Basket Reading Challenge. This reading challenge is basically there's a prompt for each character in the manga Fruits Basket or anime and I just thought that was fun. I really want to reread Fruits Basket but the challenges are actually books so you don't have to read fruits basket to do the challenge because it is based on the characters. Although I'm sure it is more fun if you know who the characters are. Of course we have the New Year New Wave 2024 challenge. So I've done this for the past three years, this challenge. This is the only challenge that I do actually have to complete in the year of 2024 and all the prompts center around songs that are in the new wave genre. I really, really love doing this challenge, as you can see probably by the fact that I've done it for the past three years, and I'm very excited to do this challenge again, mostly because the things that are in the prompts really strike me as things that I'm already really interested in reading this year. Then we have the Adams Family Reading Challenge. I think the show Wednesday really renewed how much I enjoy um, just Adams Family elements. I, I will say that I'm probably more of a Munsters um, person. Like I remember watching that way more as a kid, but I do really enjoy the Adams Family. And I of course enjoyed the first season of the show Wednesday. So it's just something quirky. I don't think I've ever done a TV show related reading challenge other than, you know, TV show related um, readathons. So I think this one will be a kick. It's 10 prompts and it does have a lot of sort of gothic, dark humor sort of prompt directions going on it. And that sounds like a kick. The last challenge that I have, we'll see how I do on it. Luckily, it does not have to be completed in the year of 2024, but it is called Daria Morgendorfer's Reading List. So in 2023, I ended up binge watching the animated show Daria that was on MTV when I was a youth. And I actually hadn't watched it like all the way through. I'd just seen like parts of it. And my friend is really invested in the show. So I thought I should watch it because I feel like I'm gonna really relate to the character of Daria. Daria. Guess what I do? Basically what this reading challenge involves is that it has you read all of the books that Daria references in the show. I believe there are 57 books on this list. Now, some of these I know that I can get through because I have read them before and I will probably reread them. Some of them are things that I do want to read. Now, there are some that I don't have any interest in reading, so we shall see I say if I can at least get through, you know, say half of this list, I will consider myself a winner. It's definitely going to help me um, meet my goal of reading two classics for sure. That is it for today, my fabulous peeps. If you want to drop me a comment below, that would be excellent, super great. And um, I guess all I have to say is see you later.